Hi, my name is Stephanie and today I want to talk about how TV shows romanticizing traits of autism affected me. Now, I wasn't diagnosed until age 23, but I do wonder if the kind of change in culture and TV and a little bit in society, I guess, where they went from finding awkward being annoying to finding awkward being kind of adorable. I wonder if that affected my time of getting a diagnosis. Characters like Temperance Brennan from Bones, Sheldon Cooper from The Big Bang Theory, and Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds all have these traits that sure seem to align closely with what would have been called Asperger's or Level 1 Autism. But the thing about these characters is that none of them are diagnosed with Autism or Asperger's. They have these lovable little quirks, but they don't have to deal with the other side that comes with having those quirks for people who are on the spectrum. They probably didn't want to have to deal with addressing maybe their character being disabled, as many people consider it, or dealing with the intricacies of properly portraying autism and Asperger's, so they probably wanted to avoid that. <laughs> I don't blame them for that. And some creators of those characters have come out to say, you know, my character or these characters or whatever don't have any diagnoses, it's not for that, etc, etc. In fact, at one point, I think it was about the character Spencer Reed that his quirks make him lovable. I will say on his, they at least acknowledge that he did seem to have some traits of Asperger's, but they did not not ever address it further than that. In one way, I think I actually benefited from this change where people were seeing these things as cute quirks and lovable and this idea that awkward is relatable and interesting and they started to value that. So I think for me that kind of helped me a little bit because for some people, they saw it as, oh, you're just relatable and quirky and fun and it's just interesting. You're like that character on TV and, you know, it just makes you lovable. And although not everyone feels that way, I do think that it helped people be more accepting of me. But the thing with these characters having those quirks and savant abilities or being the annoying yet somehow comedic relief kind of masked the other side of autism. Which, again, that's probably why they didn't bother kind of stepping in that direction with their characters. Well, it did lead to somewhat of a break and rare instances of being considered cool because I seemed like a character on a TV show. I think it further buried the realization of what I really was dealing with. See, people would think, you know, there's something off about you, something weird about you. Oh, but I saw you, I saw that character on TV, you're just like them. You're just, it must be because you're smart just socially awkward like this character because those characters didn't have autism. They were just smart and quirky and socially awkward. So I think the negative side of this was that it kind of further kept me from a diagnosis because it was like they were normalizing the characteristics of autism. They were taking the unique parts, the funny little quirks, the things that people might see in social situations outwardly and making them just a part of their character, but it left out the rest, the, the rest of the struggles that the actual human beings with autism who do portray those quirks and things have to deal with. I wasn't a character. I didn't just end with cute and funny frustrations or neatly scripted misunderstandings. The screaming and sometimes self-injurious meltdowns and the depression and the anxiety, all of that existed for me while the rest of the world saw the cutesy little quirks like they saw with Dr. Spencer Reed. So I think it both benefited and didn't benefit <laughs> me in the way that I think that it helped me to not be so far isolated because people kind of had something to compare me with and so I wasn't just a complete weirdo. <laughs> but at the same time, it did kind of keep me from a diagnosis, I think, longer just because people were normalizing uh, what they saw from me, what they got to see from me. So what are your thoughts on this? Do you see that shift in society and TV and culture and stuff like that from disliking to celebrating awkward and nerdy things 
that do you think that helps or do you think that's hurt or what are your thoughts on it? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do upload new videos to this channel every Thursday at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. I also want to let you know that I will be doing Monday through Friday videos for World Autism Awareness Week. So I would definitely be paying attention toward the end of March, beginning of April. I'm gonna have some stuff coming out <laughs> that you might be interested in. And also, if you're really, really interested in what I'm going to be doing for that week, I have let my Patreon people know. So I do actually have a Patreon if you're interested in monetarily supporting me. I do have the link in the description there for you if you're interested. I hope that you're having a wonderful week and see me in my next video. Bye.